I once skipped a rock <coughs> nine times across the eastern bank of Lake Michigan. Nobody saw me do it. <laughs> My wife stood behind me, stuffing a blanket burrito with empty glasses, towels, half-eaten jars of almonds, a frisbee. She didn't believe me. Rightfully so, as she had seen my attempt to skip a meager few before, all of which sank like bad metaphors to the slimy bottom of the lake where they would immediately begin a new life of slime gathering. <laughs> when I told her, she said, that's nice, dear, or whatever she said. It probably wasn't that because she would never say that. Honey never spills from her mouth. The only baby between us is stir-fried corn. In fact, <laughs> knowing that I referred to her as my wife would upset her. We deliberated on semantics of defining our partnership for several threads in a week-long string of conversation. Partner is too Birkenstock. Lover too hot tub. Sweetheart gives me hope that we will never grow out of having sweethearts that we will forever be of the sun, the children of shade trees in summer. But forget I mentioned her at all. The point is that I once skipped a rock nine times across the reflective <laughs> epidermis of Lake Michigan. As I watched that smooth stone bounce along both sea and sky, unfolding ripples under every point it touched, I quickly made a, a wish, a quiet request, to make it to the other side, onto Jackson Street Beach, under walnut riveted train tracks, across angled ancient native highways, atop a glossy black step, bent, inviting, painted over at the bottom of a three unit apartment where we were living at the time, my wife and I. Mm -hmm.